But forget it. You can use it instead of an umbrella this weekend. How about Cover up it? all your friends. <laughs> Why not? I like that idea. You know, is it going to come down that much? It's, it's going to be heavy on Saturday okay. night. But before we get there, it's not too bad outside right now. And even areas north of the city, check it out. It's relatively quiet in places like Bethlehem on our neighborhood network. The Christmas Village is out. They have the lights going and the clouds are starting to work their way in. But again, quiet and generally comfortable, we'll call it, even in the Lehigh Valley here on our Friday night. But it's going to be another cold one for us as we wake up on Saturday morning. Not quite as bad as what we had here this morning in Philadelphia and a lot of the surrounding areas where we had record breaking cold in places like Trenton and also Allentown as well. But as you wake up on Saturday morning, we're still hovering in the 20s, maybe some 30s as you head south of the city through the pine areas even of New Jersey. Millville wakes up at 34, Dover at 42. But teens up in Mount Pocono and the higher elevations and even again through the Lehigh Valley, you're going to be waking up in Allentown right around 24 degrees. So you'll still want to be bundling up on Saturday morning if you do have to be out and about in the first half of the day. Storm scan three out there right now. High pressure for the most part is still in control, but it is slowly sliding off the coast. And as it does, it's allowing our next area of low pressure to enter into the region. Brings with it first some cloud cover, so some high clouds are out there currently and they're going to be thickening up as we go through the rest of the overnight hours tonight, but a wider zoom on storm scan shows two systems. The first the area, first area of low pressure generally to our north. It's kind of spiraling towards the Great Lakes at this point with a long cold front attached to it. Thunderstorm activity firing up across portions of Alabama with again just straight shower activity through Chicago and Cincinnati and the Ohio River Valley. And then another area of low pressure now off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. And this one's shuffling in some moisture off the Atlantic Ocean and it's actually allowing in some of the higher elevations of the Appalachians in western North Carolina at this point to see some frozen precipitation and even here in portions of the area, we could see a little bit of frozen precipitation tomorrow morning as well. So here it is on future weather at lunchtime tomorrow. We're starting to see some of that rain work its way into areas of Berks County and then back up into the Poconos too. And some of those higher elevations, if the rain gets here early enough, temperatures in the morning again going to be relatively chilly. So we could see some freezing rain develop through Berks County, the Lehigh Valley, and then also up into those higher elevations of the Poconos at the onset of this system, really kind of before lunchtime or so, but then it gets warm enough as we head throughout much of the afternoon that we get just plain rain. This is six o'clock tomorrow afternoon, moderate to even heavy downpours for us across a general, uh, pretty much generally the entire area at this point. And as we head even back down towards the shore on future weather, bringing in even a little bit of red there around Atlantic City, some very, very heavy rain. Now we're not expecting anything in the way of flooding problems at this point, but we will have to monitor that even as we go through the day tomorrow. If we do get a little bit of flash flooding in areas that are prone to it, like the shore and maybe areas that do uh, maybe have a little bit of uh, leaves still on the trees that block some of those drainage areas. We could have some problems now by Sunday morning. It's clearing out once more and it looks like temperatures could be even more mild to end the weekend. Talked a little bit about that freezing rain chance. There is a winter weather advisory 7 o'clock tomorrow morning until 1 o'clock in the afternoon for the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos because we could have some slick spots on the roads. 53 for the Eagles game on Sunday. A good afternoon for football and check out our seven day forecast here. It's a high of 51 tomorrow. 56 on Sunday. Another system works its way in early in the week next week, so we get another dose of shower activity plain rain showers that is on Monday, but then it's cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe even looking at highs only in the 40s there through the end of next week. Mm -hmm. So we end the month on a cold note. All right, buddy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you.